Hello everyone, hi. I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm a little bit late. Welcome to Chatter Time Live. Uh, my name's Kirsty and I'm one of the speech and language therapists at Evelina London's Community Speech and Language Therapy Team. And this is a live session for parents and carers with young children under the age of five. Um, and it's a session where you can come and join in and get some ideas on ways to support your young child's speech, language and communication development. Um, so as I said, it's a live session. So if you're there, please join in um, by writing in the comments box. I'll be able to see that all the way through. Um, and I'll be able to read out how your child's joining in and read out whatever message you put there. Um, I'm just going to... Oop, try to oh ah sorry <laughs> there's something wrong with the recording today so some of the writing may be the wrong way around so I'm really sorry about that um, but chatter time sessions have two parts so the first part is um, a chat for grown-ups where I'll just talk through um, the activities in our session today and our tip of the week and then the second part is an interactive circle time for children. So we'd be expecting your children to join in or supporting your children to join in with that session. Um, so definitely use the comments box. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so we're going to have the grown-up chat first. If you've got any little ones with you, then send them off to play for a few minutes or so um, while we talk through today's session. So as usual, we'll be using a visual timetable. Um, this is something I've just drawn quickly before our session today. I'm so sorry that the writing's backwards, um, but hopefully the pictures will be uh, clear enough. So first of all, we'll be singing hello. If you'd like me to say hello to your child, then just jot their name in the comments box and I'll be able to say a personal hello to them. Then we've got our story. And our story today is just a nursery rhyme. It's Humpty Dumpty. And I wanted to show you ways to um, bring your stories to life at home, even just with a simple rhyme, using some objects you have in your house. So today, for Humpty Dumpty, um, I've got an egg and I've just drawn a little face on it. Um, slightly dangerous, but we'll see how it goes. So I've got an egg and I've just got a loaf of bread for my wall and I've got a horse for the horses, uh, the king's horses to come in too. So I'll be telling my story just with those objects, just that simple rhyme. Um, and that's something you can try at home with different objects you may have at hand. And after our story, we'll be doing our attention and listening activity. And today that's what's in the bag. So I've just put some objects um, and toys in, into a bag. And together I'll sing a little song and then pull out an object. And in this game, it's really, really simple. But what it does is it helps your child to um, recognise the names of objects. So um, you can hold out and see if they can name what it is they can see. Um, and as an adult, you can use two strategies. The first one is pausing. So you can wait. So when you've pulled it out of the bag, you can wait to see what your child says or uh, yeah, how they respond, how they react. Um, and you can practice our tip of the week. And our tip of the week is to repeat what your child says and add a word on. Um, so we'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but that's something you can practice in this activity if you were trying it at home. It's really easy. You just need any sort of bag or a box and you can just put some objects in it um, and then play it, play along with your child. Um, after what's in the bag, we'll be having uh, singing. So I'll give your child a choice um, of three songs. And if your child would like to choose, then just jot it in the comments box and I'll be able to read that out. I'll be guided by whatever is put there. Um, and then I'll sing goodbye. I'll sing goodbye. Um, so as I said, each week on Chatter Time, we have a tip of the week. Um, and this is something that we encourage you to practice at home when you're talking and when you're playing with your child. Um, and our tip this week is repeat and add a word. So there are two parts to this tip. The first one is to repeat and then the second one is to add a word or add some words. So we're just going to start with repeating. So repeating back what your child says helps them to feel listened to. 
first of all, and um, it helps them know that you've understood what, they, what it is they're trying to say and that you value what they've got to say too. And repeating back what they say can help them to feel confident in using that word again. Um, if your child uses uh, the wrong pronunciation for a word, so if they're saying tat instead of cat, for example, you can just repeat back the right version. So you can say cat, yeah, it's a cat, and repeat it back for them. The next step to move your child onto the next stage of talking is to start adding words on. So, for example, depending on where your child is at, you want to add on one word to build up um, their talking. So, if you were outside and your child saw a dog and said, doggy, dog, you could maybe add on a word to describe what the dog's doing. So, you could say, oh, the doggy's playing, or the dog's running, or the dog's sitting, or looking. So you're adding a word on to build up their talking. If your child's at the level where they're using two words together, so if they say, um, oh, doggy, doggy's running, you can add on a word, another word to that phrase. So you could say, oh, the doggy's running. He's looking for the ball. He's looking for the ball. Or the doggy's playing with the ball. So you're adding a little word on to build up what they're saying. So this week, give it a go when you're out and, back and about or when you're playing. Repeat back what your child says and then add a word on um, and let us know how you get on. If you've got any questions about that, then just jot them in the comments box um, and I'll be able to get to those at the end of the session. Okay, we're about to start circle time now. So if you want to bring your little ones back, that would be great. <laughs> I'll just give you a few seconds to do that. And now we'll start chatter time. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good afternoon. My name's Kirsty. Hi. It's time for chatter time. Yay. Let's look and see what we're going to do today. Oh, let's see. First, we'll say hello. Then we'll have a story. Then we'll play what's in the bag. Then we'll do some singing. And then we'll say goodbye. Goodbye. But first, first, we're going to say hello. I'm going to sing hello to everybody. Will you help? One, two, three. Hello, everyone. Hello everyone hello everyone it's good to see you here hello hello let's sing it again ready one two three hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone it's good to see you here Hello, hello. Oh, let's see. I can see some people watching, but I can't see any, oh, I can't see any names in the chat. So if you want to put your child's name, then uh, just jot it in and I'll be able to see, but I can't see any at the minute. So hello, everybody who's watching. Hello has finished. It's finished. Oops. It's time for our story story mm. and our story today is called Humpty Dumpty mm. Humpty Dumpty and this oh this is Humpty Dumpty he's an egg an egg oh let's see Okay, Humpty Dumpty, there he is, he's going to sit, he's sitting on the wall, ready, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, 
Humpty Dumpty's going to fall down. Oh, no. Oh, poor Humpty. Oh, he's falling down. Oh, no. Oh, he's sad. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, no. Humpty Dumpty sat on the ground. Humpty Dumpty looked all around. Gone were the chimneys and gone were the roofs. All he could see were horses and hooves. Oh no, because he's on the floor. He's fallen down. <laughs> Should we do it again? Let's put Humpty back on the wall. Ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the, on the wall. <gasps> what happened next? Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Ah! He's falling. Oh no. <gasps> All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the ground. Humpty Dumpty looked all around. Gone were the chimneys. And gone were the roofs. Oh, the houses, the roofs. Ooh. All he could see were horses and hooves. Oh no. Oh, that's a sad end to our story. Humpty's on the ground. Maybe, maybe somebody will help him. Our story has finished. It's finished. Now it's time for what's in the bag. So let's sing in one, two, three. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's have a look and see what's in the bag. Oh. It's a, it's a banana, a banana. Oh, it's a little banana, a little banana, a little yellow banana. Nom, 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 nom. Eat the banana. Let's see what's next. Ready? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's have a look and see what's in the bag. Oh. 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 Oh, look. It's a It's a boat. A boat. The boat drives in the sea. In the sea. Hmm. It's a big boat. A big boat. See what's next. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's have a look and see what's in the bag. Oh. Let's see. Oh, it's a uh, nay. Nay. That's right. It's a a horse. Horse, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. The horse can jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Let's see what's next. 
What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's have a look and see what's in the bag. Let's see. Ooh. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Oh, look at here. A dog, a dog. A little dog, woof, woof. It's a little dog. He's barking. He's barking. Mm. Let's put him back in the bag. Dog goes back in the bag. And horse. Horse back in the bag. And whoosh, the boat. <laughs> Boat's back in the bag. And oh, banana. The little banana back in the bag. Back it goes. And what's in the bag has finished. It's finished. What's next? Next, it's singing. Singing. Oh, let's choose something to sing. We've got three little ducks. Three little ducks went swimming one day. Oh, if you're happy and you know it. Or we can say one potato, two potato. Hmm. Do you want to choose? <laughs> I'm going to choose if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it. All right, everybody listening to see what we have to do. Ready? One, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. What's next? Ready? If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Yay! If you're happy and you know it, has finished! It's finished. Let's see what's next. Oh, we've got three little ducks. Or one potato, two potato. Let's sing. I'm going to choose three little ducks. Ready? Three little ducks. Okay. Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only two little ducks came back Oh no, oh no Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the hill and far away Mummy duck said quack, quack, quack Quack. But only one little duck came back. Oh no, one little duck's going swimming now. Ready? One little duck went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mummy 
duck said, quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came swimming back. Oh no. Sad mummy duck went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Sad mummy duck said quack, quack, quack. And all three ducks came swimming back. Yay! Oh, all the ducks came back and mummy duck felt very happy. <laughs> Okay, the little ducks has finished, has finished. We've got one more, one potato, two potato. So grown-ups, this is a really good uh, little rhyme to play at home and you can play it sitting face to face together and taking turns to put your fists on top of each other. Hello, Thomas and Louie, hi, hello. Oh, we've got one more song. We're not going to sing it, we're going to say it. It's about potatoes. You can play it together. Ready? So we have to have our hands like this. We're going to go one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Oh, lots of potatoes. Let's do it again. Ready? One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more, more. Lots of potatoes. Our potatoes finished and our singing for today has also finished. It's finished. Now it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Okay. I'm gonna sing goodbye to everybody. Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, I'll see you very soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye Thomas and goodbye Louis and goodbye everybody who's been watching. Goodbye. <laughs> All right everybody, that's the end of our session for today. Um, if you'd like any more information about our service at all, then you can look on our website. Uh, it's on www.evelinalondon.nhs.uk forward slash community speech and language. So have a little look there about information about our website and um, other Chatter Time sessions that we've got on as well. We've got Chatter Time live sessions um, every Tuesday in the morning at 10.15 and every Thursday at 2.15. Um, and if you'd like to contact us directly, if you've got any questions at all about your child's um, talking or, uh, yeah, about anything at all to do with their communication, uh, then feel free to contact us on dst-tr, contact slt at nhs.net. That's dst-tr, contact slt at nhs.net. Net. I'm so sorry that that's backwards, um, but you will be able to see that email address on our Facebook page. If you click on the About section, then you'll see some information and um, that email address will be there should you need it. Um, thanks for joining in today and um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye!